Hello friends, Fagun Shah from Integration Lab here. So today we are going to see about how to use Vbout automations to send the drip WhatsApp message using public connect in 360 dialog. So basically Vbout already have forms and it also has the automation and email marketing part built in. Now you can use that particular automation part to send the data to public connect and from public connect you can also send the whatsapp messages to your clients using 360 dialog so let me show you what i have basically set up so this is a form created inside vbout right let me show you the form as well so if we go to context in vbout if we go to list here you can see the list and here you can see the form builder so if we go to form builder you have an option to create custom fields as well right so i have created a custom field which is also uh, marked as private so it is not showing on the page itself right so by default the tag status is uh, tag 0 right and whenever uh, someone submits this it will go to this particular automation called Pabli WhatsApp and this particular automation I have created for mini automation course series where you can send the five videos uh, to whoever subscribe to your list and they will get, get one video each day at a time when they subscribe okay you can change the time as well and they will get notification on email as well and on whatsapp as well this sync to third party is actually a whatsapp call to public connect right so yeah let's get started and let me show you how everything is set up exactly so this is how you uh, your client will get the output uh, ignore the time you can change it to the day i for testing i have uh, added a little delay of one minute but we about take some time to actually process the data so the delay was little bit bigger but this is how your client will get uh, the all the automation so the first uh, days will message will be different that hi fagun shah thank you for signing up for our five days mini automation course and we will send you one video every day on your register email and whatsapp today's video's link right and integration lab which will be your company name right and then again each day they will get one message for next four days so total five message will be sent to them and five emails will be sent to them as well right so now if we go to the vbout the main feature i want to show using this particular automation part is that how you can send the data to public connect and manipulate that data and send the whatsapp message as well right so let's get started so the first part is the trigger so in vbout automation the trigger is whenever someone add get added to sample list this automation should start for that particular contact okay and let's submit a data fagun shah and 912 I will select the India. I will add my number and I hit submit. So now if we go to Vbout's context, you will see that the contact is added on today's date, right? And if we go to the edit, you can see the tag status is not added tag zero by default. That's okay, which is not an issue. If we click on the email ID and you can see that it has joined the sample list and soon it will start the automation as well but it does take some time so let's check out the rest of the workflow before that okay so as soon as they join the list we are sending one email to them right uh, you can set up the email as you want uh, with vbout right then this is important because we are changing the custom field status tag status to tag one now why we are doing that because we want to send this particular custom field value to public connect and based on the value of this custom field we will send them different messages for example if the custom uh, fields value 
uh, for tag status is tag 1 then we will send them day 1's message if it is tag 2 then we will send them day 2's message and so on okay so this is why this field is very important this is a custom field which is called tag status and this is a tag 1 value we are passing right and after that we are using a sync to th a sync to third party option so we need to select the third party select the custom field because we want to send the custom field data to public connect right post the public connect webhook url in here if you don't know how to use webhook or you don't know how to use public connect i will drop a link of uh, public connect get started video in the description you can go through that first right so in public connect we have the we have created this workflow where webhook is the trigger you do not need to select the webout as a trigger okay remember that you need to select webhook as a trigger and here you can see that we have captured a simple uh, sample response to set up the workflow so i captured that in the tag 3 you can pass any value and captured it once right so save configuration so this part is the one part now after that we are adding a delay of one minute instead of one minute you can set it set it up as a days as a hours as well and one more thing many times clients have requirement that they only want to send the message uh, or they only want to get the message inside office hour not in outside of office hours why because it is it more like a spam if you like sending a message at 12 am or something like that or 1 am so make sure you can use that advanced timing toggle as well to select that like if you don't want to send the message on saturday or sunday then you can do that from here as well right so i like the how webout has provided the delay function it is quite helpful that you can avoid the weekends as well you can avoid the office hours uh, you can send the message in office hours only right that is also possible using this particular time range okay you can you if you don't want to send out uh, outside of those hours that can be done from here okay so this was the first part now you just need to repeat the process again and again like sending a second email again you are updating a contact with the tag 2 so first we send that status as tag 1 and now if we come here at the bottom you can see that thank you for signing up for five day mini automation course as you can see we just submitted the data right so we got the response for that particular data right and we got the first message and it is still in the delay so soon we will get the second message as well right so text status will be tagged to then again we are sending the public another webhook right so now let me show you how it is going to work in public connect so in public connect first we are capturing the data with webhook and then we have set up routers now how does routers work basically so routers are you can say that it is a collection of multiple condition and it will execute all true conditions for example there are total five conditions here as you can see five routers right there are no limits on how many routers you can create in public connect you can create as many routers as you want plus the router is a free task inside public connect so it will not cost you any task right so in the first router uh, when the first time the message came you can see the value should be tag one if the value is not tag one of the custom field right for tag status right then it will not go through here this condition will be uh, filled right and it will not send the message and for day two again we will set up it like tag two in here tag two right and so on for day three it will be tag three tag four tag five for our scenario we there can be only one condition true at a time but router can also work with multiple condition true at time as well let me show you the history that how basically it sent the message okay so when for this particular message which is sent to my number 
you can see here 10:31 is the current time today that it captured the data as tag 1 right and in router it went through the first router okay tag 1 so condition was true it means it should go ahead and execute rest of the steps inside that particular router so it went ahead and it executed the rest of the steps inside the router right now if we refresh that in one or two minute it should send another message as well so yeah this is how the router and public connect works now what can be the other scenarios which you can use this so basically if you are using an e-commerce store or something like that and if someone uh, signs up for this particular uh, form you can uh, send them uh, coupon codes or new product messages as well using the list so whenever you are setting up automation inside your webout automation you can also send the whatsapp message as well using public connect okay for that you will just need to sign up for public connect which provides 100 free tasks per month and you also need to sign up for official whatsapp business api using 360 dialog for which you will get $5 special link from public connect facebook group right uh, which is not available anywhere else i think so okay so you can do that as well let's see if we have got the second message yeah so we got the second message you can see the first message and second messages are different and in the second message we are passing the value of video name as well and video url so these two things and this name this three are changing every time with each and uh, every customer and each and every tag value right so this is how it works right let me know if you guys have uh, any questions and i will try my best to help you in this also webout is going to have a last call deal from today onwards on uh, appsumo.com it will be a lifetime deal so you you should check out the appsumo.com as well and a special thanks to joshua lim uh, to suggest me to create this video and yes thank you so much joshua uh, this was a great use case right and thank you very much one more use case which i would like to tell you is something like i have seen many trainers and coaches giving away free whatsapp course right so they try to add the everyone in the group and they post the video links in there instead of doing that you can run a special automation like this where you can send them the course video and details on uh, face uh, email and whatsapp and by doing that you can after once the 5 days are completed or the free course uh, duration is completed you can send them a special coupon code and paid course enrollment link so they will uh, feel that personalized and there are higher chances of them signing up or you can tell them to uh, book a free session with you or you can tell them to uh, register for your free webinar as well right so all those kind of use cases can be completed using this particular automation right and this is a one time investment for you in webout app and public connect okay so make sure you check out the links in the description for all this particular related links okay thanks bye